Right, I'd like to draw a bar graph of the siblings' data. So first of all I need a frequency table and then bar graph and that combination of things is accessed from the insert menu and then choosing pivot chart. So it's guessed where my data are. Um, that's fine. A new worksheet is also convenient. So let me click OK there. Now the variable that I want is siblings, so I drag that down to the um, axis with the category labels. And then I want to count those up. Now the default here is, um, because the data are numerical, it's the thought to itself, he wants to add those. So the default is sum. I actually want count, so I'm going to click that arrow and then choose value field settings and replace sum here by count. Okay. And there we have a both the pivot table and the bar graph. Now what I don't like about the bar graph is that it's missing uh, those two empty categories, six and seven. Um, we've got an ordinal variable, sure, and it's put them in the correct order, but we've got this discontinuity in the axis here. If I select that row of the table, and then from the home menu, try and insert cells, um, Excel gribble, Grizzles says, no, I'm not going to let you do that. So um, our other uh, option is to start from scratch. So I'm going to create a new table myself, number of siblings, and in the next column, frequency. If I start it off and then using this little box down the bottom here, drag it down, Excel kindly guesses um, that what I want is the count 0 through 9. That's exactly what I do want in this case. Here are my frequencies. So I'll copy those, Control C and then Control V. And it's these two at the bottom um, that I want to move. I can, as I move around, my cursor changes, and it's that one that I'm looking for. It allows me to drag those two. And then 6 and 7 both have a frequency of 0. Now if I go to the pivot chart menu again, it's kind of weird. Um, bar graph ought to work, but it doesn't quite give me the control I want. So pivot chart, select the table range. So it's, it's done that for me. I'm going to use the existing worksheet and just click in the old cell there. Okay. So number of siblings goes in the category and frequency now goes in there and I'm happy for it to add those what it's doing um, it's just seeing the zero um, corresponding to a frequency of nine it's adding that that nine to itself well not to itself um, it's just taking that one value and so the graph Oops, excuse me. The graph that I've got as a result is what I want. Not a particularly honest way of getting it, but um, that will do. I've now got these two empty categories there. Once again, um, I can ask for access titles. I can get rid of the legend because that's a bit pointless. And so. Editing those. This is the number of siblings. And here these are frequencies.
and a title that gives the reader some sense of what, what's being shown. Um, and there we go.